And today there's a push for clean energy in many communities that may be most at risk to climate change. The city is partnering with SDG&E to provide these solar panels at little to no cost for many low income families that could help them out in the long run. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal is at City Hall to explain how families can apply. And the hope is that this program catches on in other parts of the state as well as other parts of the country. Now, it mostly applies to homeowners who live in the 4th, 8th, and 9th council districts, communities like Barrio Logan, Oak Park, and City Heights. It's targeted to low-income folks who otherwise might not get access to clean energy because they can't afford the $20,000 it takes to put solar on the rooftop. And that was Lawrence Goldenhurst of the Center for Sustainable Energy. Now, they're partnering with the city as well as SDG&E to make this program possible. Today, they laid out how this all works. It's called the San Diego Solar Equity Program, and it's meant to really provide clean energy in communities that historically have had less access to it. It covers up to 100% of solar installation costs, which can be expensive anywhere uh, from 20 to $30,000. It also covers up to $3,500 for electrical panel upgrades to prepare homes for solar installation. Now, this is a 10 year, $10 million program, and the city says it's paid for by SDG&E shareholder funds as part of its energy cooperation agreement. SDG&E says that this is not paid for by the rate payers. So, who qualifies? Well, you must live in an area deemed as highest risk to climate impacts, uh, which is designated by the city. And again, that includes people in the 4th, 8th, and 9th districts and you must also meet income requirements. So for example, a family of four must make less than about $120,000 a year. So how do you apply? Well, applications open up in about a month. You can go to sdsolarequity.org. Uh, it is a first come first serve basis. We will have the link set up on our website as well, cbs8.com. Just click on the help button. Kelly Hesedal, CBS 8.